que yo no mires, welcome back to my channel Today I'll be reacting to Unquitting Hearing, episode 4 Okay, so last episode, uh, Leo tried his best to teach Lily how to work in groups And the power of teamwork with a really strange way And his plan totally failed, but he uh, was able to achieve his goal to teach Lily the importance of uh, sharing the workload workload so yeah i'm pretty happy about that this episode echidna uh, wanted to have a conversation with leo i think she summoned him so i'm curious to see what she's gonna say so let's start this video in three two one go. am i watching the right thing oh yeah i'm pretty sure i am She was probably very thankful, but also very scared. Hmm. Hmm. How did it go from that uh, emotionless guy to this? The drinking party from hell. Huh? Leo in his dream kind of reminded me of you from Owari no Seraph. No, I don't think that's why she called him. Mm, maybe she's just curious because he did help both her and Lily. Oh, she's both good with magic and combat. That's why she was chosen, I guess, as the queen. You got this, Lil. Definitely not what you expected, right? Mm. They're gonna have dinner together? Who would have thought that they would share a meal together? <laughs> right? It could happen, it could happen. He was able to change his appearance. How? He looks very familiar and suspicious to her, right? Oh. He, he was able to convince her just like that? She didn't even suspect anything. Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe she's too drunk to realize it. <laughs> Trying to be all nice. Is he gonna get her uh, drunk, like drunk, drunk until she falls out? She's drinking so fast though. They're drunk until she passes out. <laughs> but I don't think she. Uh, I feel like she's a heavy drinker. <laughs> See? <laughs> she finished everything. <laughs> she's the type that gets even more hype and energetic when she drinks. 
<laughs> when they're drinking so much uh, wine and alcohol and she's just there drinking happy plot twist she goes there and finds them in a in a very compromising position ah! Yeah, yeah, Duh, you can stop the act. What is your plan, mate? しかし、どの料理も素晴らしい味ですが、この絵画が召し上がっていらっしゃるそのソーセージなど絶品ですぞ。しているものに言及すれば外れなしだ。賃料ですな。this is basically also helping the viewers on a drinking culture, I guess. So good. Last episode was uh, very helpful for all of them. She doesn't look like a demon queen right now. Oh, really? Uh -huh. He does everything! He fights well, he teaches well, he cooks well. What, what can't you do? See, this really, this really helps for working environment, drinking, working a culture. Wow, the pitiness. He's trying to use the pity card. <laughs> mm, I don't think that's gonna work, but okay. <laughs> Let's have a toast for this. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> you just made the situation worse because now she wants to celebrate. <laughs> Extremely urgent message. What happened? This castle reminds me of the genius princess got to raising a nation out of that castle. They've been drinking and eating for hours and she's not done yet? Ah, that's nice. And this is how you sour the mood. <laughs> wow, he really touched the wrong nerve. <laughs> the irony in that. <laughs> The Philosopher's Stone? There's a Philosopher's Stone in this anime? What? Okay. Okay.あ、いし。Thank you for the information dump don't like that, I guess. You have? There are multiple philosopher's stones, okay. Okay. But then, why do they. Why does Echidna want it? <laughs> She's that pissed at you. Naruhodo. But why? What does she need it for? Kenja no Ishio Teni Ireda Dakenara, Nanimo Ningen Sibeta to Tatako Hitsio and Naida Kera. Damastari, Okundarina. Oh, why with them? So it's the 
If she could, she would want to avoid conflict and actually want to work together with humans. But this is not possible right now. Hmm, that's right. But you never know, right? Thank you for asking the question that I've been asking myself. Hmm. Why is she not giving up? Why is it so important for her to have that? What is the reason? Ah. She wants to transform the air in the Ah, okay. So getting the philosopher's stone would turn that wasteland into a land they could culture, I guess. They wouldn't have to fight each other anymore for food. That's such a pure, a pure and nice uh, goal. Definitely, kind of, because everyone always thinks that if you're a demon, you're basically bad. But in this case, she's just uh, selfish and selfless at the same time. Okay, so if she could avoid conflicts with humans, she would. But she prioritizes her people, and if that means uh, having to kill and fight the humans to get the stone, I see, I see. She wanna be selfish and think only of her people, but she's still nice at the end of the day. She's just near his job, yeah. Leo is just doing his job. I'm impressed by Ekitna. Hmm, me too. So true. She wants the best life for her people, and if that means having to destroy the humanity, that's, uh, that's something she is desperate and willing to do, I guess. <laughs> the deep talks. Deep talks are always so hard, but once you open up, it's like uh, everything is gonna come out. I want him to do it, but I have a feeling something is gonna interrupt him. Hmm. Knew it, knew it. What happened? What is, what's wrong? Well, who is this, Menace? Oh! It worked too? What? Okay, just like Leo, this episode totally made me change my mind on Echidna. Or mostly it made me uh, get to know her more because we didn't really know why she was fighting the humanity. And I thought it was only a simple demons versus a human story, I guess. But with, with uh, this Philosopher's Stone getting into the picture and the reason why she wants the stone, I don't blame her for uh, wanting that stone because she just wants her people to live in a better place where they don't have to fight each other and if that means having to go against the humanity to get that stone that's something she's willing to do and i really don't blame her for that she is a very selfless queen because she wants to put her people in front and uh, she would avoid uh, fighting humans if she could but she's also very selfish because once again she wants her people uh, to have a better life and if that means having to steal from the humans that's something she she's willing to do and honestly i i really like echidna this episode made me like her a lot more 
and i i did want leo to reveal his identity but i knew this was too early and i feel like leo is gonna reveal his real identity in a very specific specific moment when uh, echidna uh, needs him the most and it's gonna be all dramatic or something but yeah Leo, this episode kind of reminds me of not only Prince Wayne, but also his appearance reminded me of you from uh, from Owarina Seraph, but his eyes, of course, are red, just like Michaela, I guess. I guess next week, Leo is gonna have to go after Menes and Edward, but I wonder uh, which one he's gonna go first, to, he's gonna go to first. But yeah, comment down below what you think about this episode and if you also change your mind on Echidna, like if you can, share if you can, and subscribe. How many reach 1,700? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next time. Bye!